Hello everybody, it's Nikki Gordon Bloomfield here from Transport Evolved. Happy Wednesday. I can't believe we are already at the middle of the week. In fact, as I'm recording this now, like Thursday is almost over in certain parts of the world because I'm on the west coast of the US. So my day is really behind. Like everybody else, it's Thursday and I'm recording this on a Wednesday. I understand it. You don't have to. Anyway, I've got a thought of the day for you today surrounding the news from Nissan that it's going to charge 2011 through 2014 LEAF owners $199 to upgrade the telematics unit on their Nissan LEAF electric cars so that they can, come January 1st, still access the telematics system. This is all because when Nissan launched the LEAF EV, its telematics control unit essentially the little box that contains the uh, cellular modem and SIM card that allows the Nissan LEAF to talk to Nissan servers and thus to your cell phone or computer. Um, that unit was based on 2G edge technology and all of the edge transmitters that AT&T have, which is Nissan's chosen provider, will get switched off on December 31st this year. So come January 1st, the Nissan Leafs that still have that older unit will just go offline. They won't be able to communicate to Nissan's telematics server. Now, for some people, that's not a big deal. For other people, it's a massive deal because they use um, CarWings, or as it's now called, Nissan Connect EV, to connect their, to their car remotely, turn on the climate control, warm up the car in the winter, cool it down in summer, set charging information, etc., etc., etc. I'm one of those. But my question to you today is, should Nissan be paying for that out of pocket? Now, I wrote this story this morning. It was a breaking news story for us today at Transport Evolved. And I've been watching the comments come in and lots of people are saying, I think Nissan should be paying for this themselves. They should be paying for this out of pocket because we're loyal customers who bought the car, cutting edge technology, and yet three or four years down the line in some cases, I mean, obviously longer for those who've owned their car since 2010, 2011, but for those who've bought their car in the last couple of years, we are, we are, we are still early adopters of electric car technology. We bought the car with faith that it would last n number of years, and we're finding out that the, the, one of the key features of the car is gonna stop working. Now, Nissan has said that it's going to pay for 2015 Leafs to be upgraded free of charge. 2016 and newer cars have a new telematics unit in, so they're already compatible with the 3G network. But Nissan is making owners of 2011 through 2014 Leafs pay for the upgrade, $199. Nissan is subsidizing it slightly. But as one commenter mentioned this afternoon on Transport Evolved, Ford is facing the same issue with its um, Ford Focus EV and the telematic system in that, and also in the C-Max hybrid, blah, blah, blah. Oh, plug-in, uh, sorry, C-Max energy plug-in hybrid. And Ford is replacing those units free of charge, which kind of makes it very difficult for Nissan now, because Nissan looks like it's being a bit douchey. Personally, I don't think necessarily it's the role of a car company to ensure that its car continues to be relevant looking forward, especially after it's left the factory. However, that's a very old fashioned view. And I think looking forwards, especially in the light of car companies like Tesla, car companies need to start to acknowledge that they need to plan further ahead, especially when they're talking about computer technology advanced vehicles. And there should maybe be a common ground. I would prefer to have paid say $100 rather than $200 for the upgrade. I'm still gonna go ahead and do it with the staff car Nissan Leaf that we have primarily so that I can write about it. Um, but I'm curious to see what you think. Should Nissan be footing the bill completely? Should customers be footing the bill completely? Should there be an, a middle ground somewhere in the middle? Um, if you are a LEAF owner, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you own another electric car with telematics, leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you're not an electric car driver and you still have thoughts, leave them in the comments below, as well as a thumbs up if you liked, a thumbs down if you didn't, and tell me why so that otherwise I, can, otherwise I can't improve if you don't tell me what's wrong. I will try and be back tomorrow with another thought of the day. However, there's a snow day coming and that may mean I don't go to work because I'm at home looking after people who are not going to work or school or whatever. And I hope wherever you are, if you're in the, uh, if you're in North America and you're preparing for this massive storm that's going to basically go from coast to coast and bring snow to pretty much everywhere north of, say, Texas, I hope you stay warm and dry and safe. 
And until next time, keep evolving. <laughs>